are meeting Joseph Youssef, a chef and author who has written a book on some of the craziest food science around. Joseph. Hi. Kate. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So today, we're doing a bit of an experiment. Yes. First of all, should we start breaking up some chocolate? My favourite. So, <laughs> so, Joseph, what is this experiment called? Well, it's called the Booba and Kiki experiment. The Booba and Kiki I've experiment. said it so many times, I've stopped even <laughs> finding it funny at this point. Joseph and I are preparing a range of foods. We'll then ask members of the public which of two made-up words, Kiki or Booba, best describes each. It's a slight variation on an experiment first conducted in 1929. We're really looking for the kind of flavours and shape association. Excellent. Right, I'm starting with chocolate. Let's go. On offer, milk chocolate and dark chocolate. I would like you to use two words to describe them. One is kiki, one is booba. Kiki or booba? Yeah. OK. So dark chocolate is kiki, and I think milk chocolate is booba. I think the milk chocolate booba. Why is that? I have no idea. <laughs> and now for some different types of food. Well, kiki sounds um, slightly a sharper word. You go with a sharper cheese. Lemon is kinky. It's kinky. 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 K oh, no, not kinky. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, Joseph, what on earth do booba and kiki mean? Well, they are made up words. It's this speech patterns when it comes to taste and flavor. Most people will associate creamier, richer, fattier, sweeter flavors with booba and more crispy, crunchy, acidic, tart flavors with kiki. Surprisingly, I reckon about 90% were probably spot on. Yeah. Most people identified richer, fattier flavours like milk, chocolate and soft cheese as booba and sour and bitter foods like lemon and dark chocolate as kiki. 